Hello everyone and welcome to my another video on how to install MySQL Server on MacBook Pro M1 and Apple Silicon product. Before we install MySQL Server on our system, let me explain about what is MySQL. MySQL Server is an open source relational database management system. This means that you can create a relational database using MySQL Server. It uses a structured query language known as SQL to manage and store data. And also it's widely used in web application, other software applications that require a robust, scalable, and reliable database. MySQL Server provides client and server architecture, which means that multiple clients can connect to the server and access the database at the same time. Another advantage of MySQL Server is that it can run on multiple platforms including Windows, Apple, Linux. Generally speaking, the data is stored in three different forms. Structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. The structured data is a data type that relates and have relationship together. For example, if we have a data set of a students, they have records like their names, their age, and the module which they are assigned to. For instance, we have our three different tables here, the user table, grades table, and module table, which then if we want to find out the student's name, we can assign an ID and also if we want to find out about a module, we can assign an ID for the module and link them to another table such as grades table, which will show us the student's ID, module ID and the grades. The next data type is semi-structured data. This kind of data, also known as partially structured data. It means this data type doesn't follow a tubular structure associated with relational database or other forms of the data, but does contain tags and metadata to separate semantic elements and establish hierarchies of records and fields. For example, JavaScript object notation, also known as JSON format, is one of semi-structured data types. And finally, we have unstructured data, which does not have any predefined manner, or it does not have predefined data mode. Unstructured information is a set of text heavy, but may contain data such as numbers, dates, and facts as well. For example, we have videos, audios, and binary data. Now that we have the basic information about MySQL server and different data types, we can go on and continue with an installation of MySQL Server and Workbench. Let's get started. The first step is I'm going to go and download MySQL Server for Mac. So I'm gonna type MySQL Server Mac download. Then we're gonna go ahead and select the first option, which is download MySQL Community Server. Next, we're going to scroll down a little bit. As you can see, you can select different operating system. 
and by default Mac OS is selected for me I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and the first one is Mac OS 13 ARM 64 bit I'm gonna click on download next I'm gonna come down and click on no thanks just start my download next we're gonna go ahead and look for workbench and workbench is basically the graphical user interface to manage to create and manage databases I'm gonna select the first option download MySQL workbench and again you can select different operating system I'm gonna leave it as it is by default for Mac OS and I'm gonna download the Mac OS x84 64 bit I'm gonna click download again here I'm gonna select no thanks just start my download then we're gonna go ahead and click on MySQL server in installer package and double click on the in installer package click allow continue continue agree the agreement and install and enter your Mac password here we have to select a password for our mysql server i highly recommend using a strong password with encryption but for this tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and use the legacy password encryption then i'm gonna select a password for my MySQL server and then I will click on finish enter your password again and then close next we're gonna go ahead and install MySQL workbench so we're gonna go ahead and drop and drag MySQL workbench application to our applications folder and then we can go to our application folder to confirm that our workbench is installed as you can see we have our workbench application and then if we want to confirm that MySQL server is running we're gonna go ahead and click on the Apple logo we go to the system settings we're gonna scroll down a little bit and at the end as you can see we have mysql running on our macbook pro m1 with arm 64 architecture cpu i'm gonna close this then again we're gonna go ahead and double click on our workbench application and here i'm gonna go ahead and create a new mysql connection i'm gonna call this one mysql connection and we will leave everything as a default click ok again click on your new connection and then you have to enter the password which you have previously created for MySQL server then you can save the password if you wish to and then click OK congratulations now you have successfully installed MySQL server and mysql workbench to work with your database on your apple silicon product
if you want to quickly start you can create a new database by clicking on this icon and you can name it anything you like in my case i will just call it mysql sample database and then i will click apply and then again i will click apply i will click close and then if you're gonna go ahead and click on schemas you can find that our mysql database is created or if you have already a mysql database you wish to work with you can go ahead and click on new open mysql script and in my case i have this mysql sample database downloaded from the internet and click open and then now i have a database i can work with if you wish to learn more about mysql you can go ahead and look on materials online and i highly recommend learning mysql skills thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching and i hope that you learned something from this video and i'm looking forward to see you on my next video please like and subscribe if you liked this video thank you